She just celebrated her 29th birthday last month, and her aunt says Reed was planning to go home to Arkansas for Thanksgiving. What we know happened is there was a white Toyota sedan parked in the on the shoulder of the freeway. Um, one of the women in the back seat of that car was sick and was throwing up. And um, while they were stopped and checking on her status, the driver of the vehicle got out to see how she was doing. Um, there was a driver driving a white Toyota sedan, um, an adult male, um, uh, that was driving uh, eastbound and exited the main lanes and struck the rear of their vehicle. Um, because the driver was out of the vehicle checking on the passenger, she got thrown and she is now dead on the scene. A 29 year old woman was killed when a suspected drunk driver hit her car on the Katy Freeway. And we learned the suspect, Stanley Lewis II, went before a judge today. He's now facing an intoxication manslaughter charge. Our Michael Laparty spoke to the victim's family as they try to cope with this tragedy. Michael? Chris, Houston police say that the crash happened along the eastbound lanes and this stretch of Katy Freeway, which is just behind me here. Tonight, we spoke with a family member who told us that the victim was originally from Arkansas, but had lived in Houston for about two or three years. Tonight, family members are grieving the loss of a woman killed in a crash on Katy Freeway over the weekend. It was like a nightmare, you know, like somebody had just snatched the life from me. I just couldn't, I just didn't want to believe it. Adana Davis told us the victim is her niece, 29 year old Sandra Reed. Her nickname was Cece. She was a lot of fun, enjoyed life, loved her family. She would go that, that extra mile for you. Houston police say the victim had pulled onto the shoulder of the freeway after one of her passengers began to get sick. She got out of the vehicle to help the passenger and was then struck and killed by another driver. Police arrested the suspect, 28-year-old Stanley Lewis, who they say failed to stay in a single lane and charged him with intoxication manslaughter. He had a court hearing earlier today. When officers spoke with the defendant, he stated he had at least two margarita mixers. The officer observed the defendant to have glassy, bloodshot eyes, strong odor of alcohol coming from his breath and admitting to drinking and driving. Bond was set at $100,000. Sandra's aunt wants people to be cautious and think twice before getting behind the wheel. Not only are you responsible for yourself, you know, you kind of sort of have to look out for the next person or the person ahead of you on the side while you're driving. You know? At last check, the suspect was still behind bars. The victim's aunt says the family will be working on funeral funeral arrangements. Family has identified Siandra Reed as the woman who was killed after getting out of her car to check on a passenger along the Cater Freeway this morning. And police say the driver that hit her was charged with intoxication manslaughter. And ABC 13's Roxy Bustamante spoke exclusively to Reed's family. She joins us live with more tonight. Roxy. Tom Sander Reed's family is just devastated and quite honestly still in shock. Now I spoke with her aunt tonight and she tells me that they will be fighting for justice and they want to make sure that Reed's death is not in vain. She was she was taken away from what she enjoys doing, help, being, being helpful. This is Sandra Reed, known to many as Cece. She just celebrated her 29th birthday last month, and her aunt says Reed was planning to go home to Arkansas for Thanksgiving. She was very helpful and sweet and very, very, she loved her family and she was very giving and would go that extra mile for anyone, you know. Anyone that she could help, she would do it. That's exactly what she was doing when she was killed early Sunday morning. Family says Reed was driving a white Toyota sedan and pulled over on the shoulder along the Katy Freeway near Kirkwood to check on a passenger who was feeling sick. Reed got out of the vehicle and police believe a suspected drunk driver in a white Hyundai sedan slammed into the back of Reed's vehicle. Reed, who was still standing outside of her car, was thrown several feet. On our way back to the car, um, is when, is when the, the incident happened. Um, um, yeah, my, my niece that was on the other side, she told us, you know, that she had, um, she, it, the car had hit her, hit the car so hard that it knocked her out. And so she came to herself and she realized and she looked out and she saw Sandra laying in the street. 
Reed's friend and cousin who were passengers in her vehicle are expected to be okay, according to family. Police say the driver was charged with intoxication manslaughter. When that happened, he ripped life away from us and her mother. Davis says she has just one message for the community and the driver involved in this case. I know that there is awareness, you know, but you have to remember there is a choice, you know, and that person that that has done this, you know, he made a choice. He made a choice. He, he did not choose to not get behind that wheel, but he did. He chose to get behind that wheel. And, and because of his choice, this is what we're dealing with.